Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on Array's topic is spirally traversing a matrix. The question states that given a matrix of size R cross C, traverse the matrix in spiral form. Let's consider the example. The number of rows is 4 and the number of columns is also 4. The matrix contains the elements from 1 to 16 and as we can see that if we traverse the matrix in spiral form, we get the output as 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, 15, 14, 13, 9, 5, 6, 7, 11 and 10. So this is our output if we traverse the matrix in spiral form. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example as given in the question where the matrix elements were from 1 to 16. Let's declare few variables namely size 1 and size 2 and initialize size 1 to rows into column and size 2 to 0. Let's also declare few more variables namely top, bottom, left and right and initialize them appropriately. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm where we first check for the condition whether if size 2 is less than size 1. Since 0 is less than 16, therefore we enter the while loop and start a for loop from i is equal to left to right and check for the condition whether if size 2 is still less than size 1. And since 0 is less than 16, therefore we create an array b and push 1 to it. and then increment the value of size 2. We keep on doing this until i reaches right. So we have reached a point where i is equal to right. Therefore, we run out of the for loop and then increment the value of top. So the updated value of top is 1. And we start another for loop from i is equal to top to bottom and still check for the condition whether if size 2 is less than size 1. Since 4 is less than 16, therefore we push the element 8 to b and keep on doing this until i is equal to bottom. So again we have reached a condition where, where the value of i is equal to bottom, therefore we run out of the for loop and decrement the value of right. And then start the third for loop from i is equal to right to left and push the corresponding elements into the array b that is we push 15, 14 and 13. And now we have reached a condition where i is equal to left therefore again we run out of the third for loop and decrement the value of bottom and start the fourth for loop where i points to bottom and from bottom to top and we push 9 and 5 to the array b. And finally, increment the value of left. Now again we check whether if size 2 is less than size 1. Since 12 is less than 16, therefore again we enter the while loop and start a first for loop where i points to left and from left to right we traverse the array and keep on pushing the elements into the array b. That is we push 6 and 7. And then increment the value of top and start the second for loop from i is equal to top to bottom and push the value 11 to b and then decrement the value of right and start the third for loop where i is equal to right and we push the element 10 to our array b and decrement the value of bottom now i points to bottom from bottom to top as well as we check for the condition whether if size 2 is less than size 1 since 16 is not less than 16, therefore we don't start this for loop and just increment the value of left. And finally we check whether if size 2 is less than size 1. Since size 2 is not less than size 1, therefore we come out of the while loop and we have our output array as 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, 15, 14, 13, 9, 5, 6, 7, 11, 10. So now let's have a look at our code. The driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function spirally traverse whose arguments are the matrix A, the number of rows R and the number of columns C. So as we have seen in the explanation part where we have created an extra array B, similarly we have created a vector of type int which is named spiral. As well as we have declared few variables namely left, right, top, bottom as well as size 1 and size 2. Then we start a while loop and check for the condition whether if size 2 is less than size 1 and if so 
then we have four for loops which are used to traverse the matrix in four direction the first for loop is used for traversal left to right similarly the second is used from top to bottom the third from right to left and the fourth for loop is from bottom to top and at each for loop we check for the condition whether if size 2 is less than size 1 and then we keep on pushing that particular element to a newly created vector spiral as well as we increment the value of size 2 and finally we return a vector which is spiral so let's compile a code the code is compiled successfully and we can submit it now and a code is submitted successfully so if you found this video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparations thank you